The 154-pound division is not that deep. There's no boogeyman in it. The top guy 154 right now is, you know, you got to say it's Aries Landy Law, right? And um, number two, you're going to say is Jamal Charlo because he's the IBF champion. And number three, it's a toss-up between Demetrius Andrade, who is inactive, and um, Jamal Charlo's brother, Jamal Charlo. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. The number six guy I'm going to say is Venice Martirosian, who is supposed to be fighting Iris Landy Lara in a rematch sometime in the early summer. They fought. What year did they fight? Let me look it up real quick. I forgot. I covered the fight. And um, it was a fight where I had Venice Martirosian winning. You know. And Iris Lindy Lara, you know, with his style, he he's always, like, his major fights. When it comes to his major fights, when it comes to Paul Williams, when it comes to Carlos Molina, when it comes to Venice Martirosa, and when it comes to Canelo Alvarez, he always doesn't do enough to seal the deal. You know, it's it's... It's, it's his Cuban style to where as in he does just enough and it's no overtime. You know, when it's time for him to clock out, he clocks out. You know, he, he like, it was Lindy Laura is good, but he never goes the extra mile. Even Guillermo Rigondeaux lately, you know, has been trying to be more exciting. To where as in it was Lindy Laura, he goes out there, jab, jab, left. Jab, left. Uppercut. Jack, you know, he's not a guy that goes out there and does a lot of body work. He's a fighter that, that that's that's known as being elusive. When you're elusive in boxing these days, what does that mean? That means to casual fans that you run. You know, not necessarily. I like watching Aries Lindy Laura fights, but he hasn't been fighting anybody. Delvin Rodriguez, a 154-pound Jan Zavek. And these are the fighters that he's fought since he fought Canelo and since he's fought um, um, Austin Trout. He actually had a lot of momentum. He was on pay-per-view. And then, you know, fighting. I mean, Jan Zavek was just a disgrace. And I had the nerve to be on ESPN on a Wednesday night. So fighting Venice Montarosian in a rematch is a fight that should have had a rematch in the first place. As I've noticed, Heyman fighters now are fighting fights that they should have fought two, three years ago. You know, remember how the first fight ended with um with the stoppage because of uh uh I forgot was it the headbutt when he had that big ass lump under his eye? I should have watched the fight again before I did this video. I'm actually going to watch it again and post it on my Facebook page, which is the first link right down there in the um description box. But it's about time for Iris Lindy Lara to start testing himself. I even said at one point in time, if he can't get big fights at 154 pounds, I was going to say 155 Canelo weight. At 154 pounds, he's got to move up to 160 and start getting big fights. After all, I think Iris Lindy Lara can hold his own at 160 against a Peter Quillen or maybe a Danny Jacobs or somebody like that. But when it comes to a rematch with Canelo, he hasn't been doing much to to warrant a rematch with the caliber of fighters he's been fighting. You know, I can see if after Canelo, you know, he started fighting these big, you know, names or started taking risks. You know, it just hasn't been there. And then you have to ask yourself, well, who wants to fight Aries Lindy Lara? So, you know, it's it's two different ways you can look at it. And I understand that Aries Lindy Lara is really not really to blame too much because there's a lot of fighters that don't want to get into the ring with him. But on the other end of things, I'm also wondering why did you know, Venice Martirosian not fight Julian Williams. I'm thinking, well, does he feel that Julian Williams is better than Iris Landy Lara, or does he feel that Julian Williams is not on his level? I don't know. But when it comes to Venice Martirosian, he has fought, you know, Charlo and has fought um um Iris Landy Lara. And I feel that, you know, if he if he could, he would fight Jamal Charlo for the IBF. So but in order to get to Jamal Charlo, he would have to go through Julian Williams. So I guess he's decided to take the uh, Ares Landy Lara route, which I think is the better route anyway. And it's a fight that I want to see. And also, they can um, um, it'll be a big fight for Ares Landy Lara, something that they can possibly maybe put on Showtime. I don't think this is a free TV fight because well, you never know what Ares Landy Lara is going to show up. So... I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe. Oh, there's no date yet for the fight. So as soon as the date becomes official, I'll let you know.